This is Frank Warren and you're watching Lights Out. This is Lights Out, I'm Faso Khan, joined by the usual faces, Ron and HF. Here to talk about the Amir Khan versus Phil Lebrecht fight tomorrow night at the Liverpool Echo Arena. The question we're asking is, is this Amir Khan's toughest test yet after two years out of the ring? Ron. Uh, yep, I think so. Um, okay, maybe he doesn't have that big of an opponent, opponent but he, what he's been through in the last two years, A, his hand injury, you know, is his hand 100% after that? He's come back from a heavy loss against Canelo. Cons despite, you know, you know, leading up to that fight, he had some big victories. Um, you know, Devin Alexander, Chris Algieri. Uh, so was, things were looking good. Diaz as well. Uh, then he had his personal troubles. So... How is he going to cope? You know, being two years out of the ring, and well, we're also touching on change of trainer. You know, from Virgil Hunter, who's sadly not going to be in his corner due to health issues. Um, he's got Joe Goosen in his corner, so that'd be, you know, how that one works out. We'll hey, Jeff, um, it's been two years for Amir Khan. What's going to be different about Amir Khan than the one that was two years ago that got knocked out to Canelo Alvarez to this one that fights tomorrow night? With the, this Amir Khan knows that he's in the final stage of his career, so it's make or break. He's got to put everything in his final chapter, he's got a new trainer now, so how will he react to Virgil not being there and he's got a new face in charge now, and then you got how much, you have to wonder how much Amerikan's left as a fighter, well, has he still got the speed, has he still got the aggression, mm -hmm. um, these, these, these questions are here to be answered. Mm -hmm. I just want to touch on the main point that Ron mentioned and that you just mentioned, changing trainer, mm -hmm. Virgil Hunter is out due to health reasons. Yeah. Joe Goosen, big name in boxing, especially when it comes to boxing training. What does Joe Goosen offer that Virgil Hunter doesn't? Well, Go Joe Goosen is very vocal. Um, he's trained the likes of Casamayo and Corrales in the mm. past. So, and them, them fighters have the same physical body, body type as American, tall, lanky, rangy fighters. So he's going to be using the jab. Uh, some speed behind that. I mean, he's worked with fighters with good amateur pedigree. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean, both, I mean, American with his Olympics. Um, well, I mean, I mean, Khan's dealt with change of trainers throughout his career. Mm -hmm. You know, I remember he, who he started off with, then he went, you know, he had for Bradis Prescott, he had a different coach then, then he went over to um, uh, Freddie Roach. Roach and now uh, Virgil Hunter. So it, it should be fine. I think he should cope with it. When people talk about Amir Khan, they talk about that lightning fast speed mm. hand punches that he's mm. got. Do you think two years out of the ring could perhaps maybe we won't see that speed again, or do you think he's still got it in him? Well, he's exactly he's the most exciting fighter to watch. Mm -hmm. um, you know, you, your heart's in your mouth. I remember that fight, my, fight against Maidana. I mean, he, he dropped Maidana. You know, yeah, not many people round. have uh, second yeah. or first round with the bullet with the body shot. Um, he was outboxing Danny Garcia until the knockout. He's outboxing Canelo just because of his superior hand speed. But it's just that one punch. He, yeah, it seems to land, That's and that seems problem, to kind of uh, lights out for him. I mean, it's not a barrage of punches. It's just that one punch. I think to get him. You mentioned that one punch. Do you think, with being at the ring for two years, do you think Ami Khan may have come back and slightly changed his approach to boxing? Definitely. He's, he's, he's obviously learning from his mistakes. He knows about his chin, even though he might not admit it. Um, he's going to have to fight more defensively, stay behind the jab, use his legs more left and right, mm. and focus on speed. Just not get too reckless. I want to talk a bit about Phil LaGreco now. 31 fights, 28 wins, 15 by Kells, lost three times. Mm -hmm. Do you think it suits Phil LeGreco going into this fight as the underdog and not really the well-known fighter out of the two? Well, he's probably been an underdog all his life. I mean, mm -hmm. his, two, no, his two losses against top fighters, Sean Paul and Errol Spence, he was underdog. Fair enough, he didn't win mm -hmm. them fight, but he never had much chance to train for them fights. Mm -hmm. Here, he's got 12-week 12, 12 camp getting prepared for the fight mm -hmm. mentally and physically. Mm -hmm. Uh, he's got nothing to lose. Let's be honest. You know, he's coming in for a big payday, mm -hmm. and he's he's cocky. He's got under his skin, and he's you know, and he's even said to um, uh, Eddie, um, you know, let me fight K Kell Brook next because he's uh, he's ending. Uh, so he's career. confident, isn't he? Yeah, he's confident. Well, he's gonna be. Well, I mean, yeah. well, if he wins, brilliant. He's he's made a name for himself. If he loses, well, he was expected to lose. You know, you know, on the. Um, uh, with the, uh, you know, he's a firm favourite, isn't he, Amir Khan? Everyone, everyone's obviously talking about that potential fight versus Ken Brook, yeah. who's done his job, who's won his, well, comeback fight, that's what you want to call it. How important is it that Amir Khan puts in a solid performance, a brilliant boxing performance, to prove to the boxing world that he's still got what it takes, because the welterweight division, compared to what it is now to what it was two years ago, is a massive difference. It's a tough division with some very good fighters. 
Yeah. I agree. He needs to make a statement. If he is a close points decision, then lose. You know, we lose more and more interest. You know, this whole saga between Kelly Brook and and has been going on far too long. If he does win convincingly, I can't see it being the next fight. Uh, it'll be further down, maybe late 2019. But you're right, the World of Eight division, I mean, it's exciting. We've got, we've got the Thurmans, we've got the Errol Spencers. Um, you know, so, you know, I mean, Conor wants to get back in amongst those The names he's just mentioned, can Conor compete with them? I don't think so. We'll find out. I mean, he's got physical attributes to it. He's got the speed behind it. He's got the skill. He's got the experience now. But... Them guys are big punches. Errol Spence and Thurman are big punches, and Crawford's an awesome, a skillful <laughs> fighter. Yeah. So I don't have much confidence in him, but you just know and know with his quick skills. prediction what happens on Saturday night in Liverpool. I think Khan wins by blistering, uh, by uh, fifth round knockout. I'm going to go for a bit, fifth round knockout. Wrong. It's been really too much for him. He's been out through the ring for a few years. I think it's going to be a points decision. I think the, that, you know, he might want the rounds. You know, you might think actually, you know, I've been out of the ring, you know, just get that. Just, and he's fighting on, you know, home soil for, mm. what, five years? Yeah. So it's going to be emotional for him as well to come, you know, he's been in the States for the last few years. I'm going to go for a second round knockout for Amir Khan. I think he's going to have too much for Phil the Greco on the night, but we have to wait and see what happens. Don't forget, you can see that fight live on Sky Sports tomorrow night from the Liverpool Echo Arena. I want to take this opportunity to thank you to you guys for watching Nights Out. Don't forget, we've got plenty more content coming up next week for the. Billy Joe Saunders and Mike Murray press conference and you can see all the action of that live on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to subscribe and like and comment. Thank you very much for joining and lights out.